Hey, hey, it's your girl Danny DMC. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you as a whole new woman with a whole new look for you guys, showcasing my new custom unit. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen my look and you have seen my new baby that I've added to my collection. But if you are on YouTube, you saw a little preview of it with my furniture apartment tour. But today I'm bringing you the full look. So this custom unit and installation was done by at I am what's her name, my girl Hachu. I will put her information below in the description box. Basically, I got this unit because I wanted to show my versatility in my modeling portfolio and show brands that if they do want me to switch it up, especially for e-commerce, then I'm able to do that. If you guys don't know if you're new to my channel, shocker, I'm a plus size model. I am also a YouTuber and a confidence activist. That's why I'm here. So I really just wanted to be able to switch it up and show them I can give you the long commercial look or I can give you the short edgy streetwear urban look as well and I think that's something that's really important in modeling is to show versatility and show that you can adapt so now that you have met her and been formally introduced to her we can move on with today's video so today I am bringing you another fierce fiery fantastic fashion of a haul and unfortunately we are coming upon springtime and the reason I say unfortunately is because spring is my least favorite fashion season of them all I love fall fashion fall is probably my favorite then winter and then summer I can do some summer I can rock some summer looks spring however is not my jam at all I just went into Target last week even when I'm going to stores now and the spring collections are starting to come out I'm just not a fan I don't like the floral prints I don't like the patterns the colors the textures the vibe it's just not me so me being the trendsetter that I am I have decided to make spring a positive time for me now and I've decided to really challenge myself and showcase my abilities in grabbing concepts ideas and outfits and things that I like, styles that I like from fall, winter, and summer, and piecing them together and creating my spring collection. So I'm gonna be showcasing all different types of pieces. I have a set like this that is long sleeve, long pant that's a bit warmer, coming from some winter and fall vibes. And then I have some sets that are shorter and warmer that you can wear out, you can pair with a jacket depending on the climate, or if you're traveling, they will be perfect for that. So if you guys want to learn how to take your least favorite fashion season by the horns and make it what you want and not follow the rules, guidelines, or heinous patterns, keep watching this video. Okay, so first up is this fire set. I am in love with the set. I had to do it first. Normally, if you guys are loyal subscribers, you know I always save the best for last. All these outfits are great, but this is personally probably my favorite. Just looking at all the pieces, besides the snakeskin set. The snakeskin set is bomb. I tried that one all. All the other ones I haven't tried on, but the snakeskin, snakeskin set I tried on, and that looks so good. So this one and that one are probably my favorite. But I had to start off with a banger for you guys to really show you that I am not following any rules this spring. I feel like this set is very city-esque. It's very trendy, very modern, and it just gives me all the vibes and all the feels. So let's break it down. It's like a charcoal silver color, which is really great for my pale skin and light eyes and blonde hair. Um, but I feel like this color looks good on any skin tone, which is really, really nice. I feel like the ribbing is amazing and so good for curvy bodies. I feel like it really accents my body and shows you like how big and powerful my body is, especially my thighs. I love the ribbing on my thighs. I feel like it shows how strong and bold my legs are, which I love to accent because my legs are strong and bold and they're here to make a statement. Thick thighs <laughs> save lives, okay? But I feel like the set is so flattering. The ribbing definitely adds to that. Also these waistbands, which are literally exactly like Calvin Klein, like they feel like Calvin Klein. They're going for that look for sure and they're very conforming and comfortable on the body. I also want to take a minute the, to talk about these uh, waistband, this waistband situation. So these say culture on them. Now, I wish that Fashion Nova paid a little more homage or, you know, made it known a little more that they um, are not only very supportive of black culture, but they take a lot of fashion and trends from black culture. You know, it's obvious that they take things from the Kardashians and such, but really a lot of their foundation comes from the amazing talents of black men and women that have contributed so much to the fashion industry. And this is something that's really important to me that I talk about a lot. Being a white woman, I'm so grateful to look at strong, creative, and powerful black men and black women for fashion trends. I would say out of any other culture, any other race, that is really who I'm looking to for my fashion trends. I believe that um, 
you know, just to say it uncandidly, black people know what's really good. They know the best fashion, they're the most creative, they're the most talented. And I feel like everyone needs to pay more homage to them and the culture that has been created, especially in this country by black people and by the black community. So I am a firm supporter and very vocal about being supportive because if we're honest, I feel like everyone follows trends of the black community and black culture, but doesn't necessarily pay homage to them. And that is, you know, what we call cultural appropriation. I'm not for cultural appropriation. I'm for cultural appreciation. So whenever I feel like I am taking my fashion or ideas from the black culture, I'm gonna pay homage. And that's about 99% of the time, because again, like I said, they really have it on point. So why not get my tips and trends and ideas from the most powerful, beautiful, creative, fashionable culture there is, right? In my opinion. So that being said, I just wanna take time to say that for me personally in wearing this set, and I think Fashion Nova's intention is good. You know, Fashion Nova definitely supports black models, brown skin models. They could do a little bit more, but I could go on a rant forever and ever. Basically, I wanna say, in wearing this set, I am paying homage to the culture. Um, there's no other culture in my eyes that um, this could represent. Like, what else would this same culture represent? And I hope everyone else looks at it that way. And in wearing pieces like this, that you are able to pay homage pay um, tribute, pay, you know, be grateful to the black community for creating such amazing fashion trends. And I am definitely a huge appreciator and follower and fan of it all. So that's something that's really important to me. So I definitely needed to take the time to vocalize that because I never just want to be a cute face with a tiny waist and a big booty. No, I'm just fine. I never want to be you know, just a cute face on YouTube. I'm always gonna keep it real with you guys and talk about things that are important to me um, because you are watching this on your screen right now and I want you to be getting something from it that is gonna make you a better person, that's gonna make our world a better person, that's gonna make us all love each other and love ourselves more. So that is important to me. I will stop ranting because I could literally go on for decades about this, but I hope you guys get the picture and get the message that I am trying to send. So all that being said, this set is amazing. I think it's super futuristic and dope. It's very, very, very comfortable. The material is super comfortable. It's form fitting, it hugs the curves. It feels good, it's soft, it's lightweight, but also could keep you warm as well. It is tight leg, all or straight leg all the way down, so it's tighter around the ankles, but there's a lot of stretch in this material, which is really nice and definitely something I look for. And it fits the body very, very well, which makes me a happy girl. Okay, next up is this super cute two-piece set. I'm very obsessed with this. I love the color. I think the brown is really nice for spring because it's like a mix of fall, but it's not too bright. I feel like spring likes to go very, very bright, and I'm not all the way there yet, you know? I want to have neutral tones still, so I really want to play neutral beige camels, darker chocolates into spring. That's something that's important for me. So I thought this set was a perfect addition to my springtime collection. It's very cute and very flattering. The skirt is about midi length, which is really, really nice and very flattering on the body. It makes the booty look great. I love this shirt. It has an undershirt under it that's like connected with little sleeves. And then you just fold this part down, which I like. I thought it was gonna be a bit restrictive and like, yeah, you don't wanna raise your hands straight up, but you still can like move your hands a lot and it's not gonna roll up and it's very easy to pull down and you can reach in the back and pull it down as well so I'm very happy that I'm able to put it on by myself and I don't need a lot of help because that is something that I was worried about with this two-piece set now this set is great for like springtime date night or if you're going to like a lounge or a cocktail happy hour or even like a bar or a club you could dress this up with heels I probably would wear this with heels but if I was doing like a daytime look I wouldn't wear like high five inch heels I'd probably wear like a cute low heel, like a three inch heel. I feel like this is very cute. And you could probably pair this with like a nice jacket or like a long sweater. I feel like a long sweater might be nice. Although if you did do that, you'd probably have to take your arms out of this and make it just like a tube top and then put the sweater on over it. But you could definitely mix and match and play with this set. You guys know I'm a huge fan of a two piece set and I feel like this is a great addition to my springtime collection ensemble. Wow, that's truthfully all I can say when I have this set on. So this is the Snake Sin set I was talking about. Like I said, I tried it on before and it is no disappointment at all. Like this set is so bomb. It's very, very soft. 
And I will say it's kind of on the thin side, so I thought it was gonna be see-through, and I thought that it wasn't gonna be flattering at all, but it's neither. So it's not see-through at all. As you can see, you cannot see through these bottoms, which is huge for me because having a larger butt, it spreads the material out, and usually you can see through it, so I'm very grateful for that. Also, it's extremely flattering, and it is thin, like it doesn't hold you in, but I don't know if it's the print or what, but I just feel like it's super flattering. I also wanna say, I just noticed I have not been telling you guys the sizes that I'm wearing, which is not like me. I'm just all over the place. I had a shoot this morning, so my mind is like, I need a nap, but I'm always working for you guys. So, that being said, everything I tried on and will continue to try on, I have one more look after this, is all a 1X. Everything is a 1X, and like I always do, I will put the links below in the description box so you can see the pricing, you can buy them, you can check them out, check the sizes they have, but I just wanna let you know that everything I'm trying on in this haul is a 1X, but I'll put that below as well. So this is a great set. I'm very, very happy with it. I think the pattern is great. Snake Skin's been in for a while and it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. And this is the type of patterns I wanna bring into spring. I'm not into floral. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not, I don't like a lot of the spring patterns. So like this is a pattern I'm willing to bring into spring. This is what we're going for this spring. And I feel like this is one of those outfits that's obviously like a bit, you'd wear it when it's a bit warmer outside. So if you're going on vacation, spring break, this would be perfect. If not, it can be paired with a super simple jacket. You don't want something that's too much because the pattern's already kind of noisy and a bit loud. So you want something that's a little bit more basic, maybe something in this color range that's like a sand or camel type color. But like I was saying with the brown um, beige like set that I tried on before this, I really want to bring in these neutral tones into spring. I don't think it has to be so loud. And like I did today, like I have this orange lip on that gives it that fun springtime vibe with my makeup and I don't necessarily have to do that with my clothing which I really really like because I'm not into the big bright colors fashion wise I'm here for it lip wise eyeshadow wise even like a pop of color on the shoe I'm here for that but I just don't like super bright colors in my clothing unless it's like a neon which neons I've been into but besides that with like the floral and the pinks and it's just not me so I am creating my own vision and this is definitely something that would fall into that vision okay last but not least is this sporty set now this is the same material as the first gray culture set that I tried on which I really like it holds me in more than I thought it was originally going to now I'm not sure if you can see but it also has orange ribbing it kind of outlines the under breast area which I like a lot and it's also on the side seams of the shorts as well I love this set I think it's really cute and sporty and fun it makes the booty look good and it definitely makes me feel more held in than I originally thought it's not as supportive as the biker shorts that come, the thick biker shorts that come from Fashion Nova, but I would say it's like medium hold, which is really nice. It gives you that good shape and clings to your body. The sleeves are a bit short, which I like. I feel like that's good for springtime. It's not like a full sleeve or quarter sleeve, which would be more fallish, but this is definitely my vibe. Very sporty, very fun, accents the curves with the ribbing, and it's super comfortable and versatile. You can match it with some high socks and a cute sneaker. You could match it with a heel. You could put a cool jacket on, like a camel jacket, if it's like a cool spring night. So I'm feeling this set a lot. I feel like it's super cute. Okay, my beautiful people, that is my video for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I really hope that I inspired you, hopefully like I always do with my videos, to show you that there are no rules to fashion and you make the rules, you decide the rules and to really just forget society, forget what's been set for you no matter what season, no matter the climate outside, however you wanna dress is how you should dress. So I feel like I really showcased that in this video because I love all these looks so much and I'm definitely gonna be rocking them this spring and then I can pull them back out, I can pull some of them out during the summer, I can pull some of them out during the winter and fall and layer them and that's what I love so much is there really are no rules, no restrictions to fashion and really Learning that in my mid-20s, being a plus-size woman and not having those options until now has really been so invigorating and powerful. It's so powerful that I get to make the rules and I don't listen to anyone else. I don't listen to society standards. I don't listen to the stores when I go in stores and they're like, oh, wear this floral print. No, I'm not, I'm never wearing floral print. It's not me, it's not gonna happen. So I really hope that you guys follow my lead on this one and really just break the standards and do what you want, what makes you happy, what feels good on your body and makes you guys always show yourself love with fashion. That is one of my favorite things to do and I believe any person can do that. And it's such an amazing feeling to care enough about yourself to wake up every day and put time into 
how you dress your body, what you feed your body, what you put on your skin, the time you take to moisturize your skin, all those little things count and that is called a self-care routine baby and it is one of the most crucial important things. Whether you are a model or a YouTuber like me, whether you work a nine to five, whether you're a veterinarian, whether you're a lawyer, whatever you do, self-care should be at the top of your list. So please do me that favor and take care of you. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment below this picture. Show me lots of love. I really appreciate all of your support and I promise I'm always reading my comments and trying to respond to all the positive ones when I have time. Also follow me on Instagram. That is where I do a lot of my posting. You will see my outfits, my individuality, my freedom, my expression. So make sure you follow me there. You can also follow me on Twitter. I've been trying to get into Twitter more. If you are really good at Twitter, follow me, DM me, give me some tips because I'm definitely trying to make my Twitter pop a little bit more. So until next time, take care of yourself, show your body love, go out, be confident, and take on the world.